There are three types of candle makers when it comes to scenting your candles. The first kind says, you know what? I only use synthetic fragrance oils. And the reason is they work better. I like the selection. The second kind says, you know what? Essential oils are for me because they're natural. I don't want to have anything man-made. The third kind says, I don't care what it is. I just want my candle to smell good. Or maybe you're just getting started in your candle making journey and you have no idea what to use to scent your candles. Essential oils, fragrance oils. Well, if you fall into any of those camps, then this video is for you. Hello, my name is Kevin and this is Armitage Candle Company. Today, we're talking about essential oils, fragrance oils, what's better, what's right, how they're gonna work. Let's start with what I mean by essential oils. Well, essential oils come from plants and from a lot of parts of the plants too, actually. It could come from the leaves, from the stem, the seeds, a fruit peel. It can even come from bark, like cinnamon. And what happens is these oils are actually extracted from the plant using steam distillation. That's just a fancy way to say that steam is pumped through the plant until the oil comes out and then it separates. Now there's one other way to get oils from plants and that's using a solvent. And if a solvent is used, it's technically an absolute oil, which is considered a little stronger and really that's relevant for perfumers, not for us. We're only talking about the oils that come from steam distillation. That's what I mean when I say essential oils. Now synthetic fragrance oils, what the heck are those? Well, these are really just man-made using chemistry with a variety of ingredients to enhance the fragrance part of it but as far as what's included in these oils it's not completely clear sometimes the fragrance industry has a long way to go to get the clarity that customers like you and me want but for the most part for the most part the ingredients that are included are really just there because they help perform in whatever situation they're used for the two big takeaways from these two types of oils is essential oils come from nature only somewhere in nature some plant some tree whatever it is only nature synthetic fragrance oils they're created in a lab really you can find just about any variety any flavor any scent that you can imagine anything from lavender to cinnamon buns it's yours so this discussion of essential oils and fragrance oils really comes down to what i see as three categories the first one is performance. We'll start with essential oils. How do they perform in candles? I'm not talking about soaps, I'm not talking about diffusers, candles. Essential oils kind of get a bad rep. Now a lot of people go to it right away because that's what they understand is what you do to create fragrance in a candle and that's kind of true, kind of not. They're really sensitive to temperature and candles are a combustion system, right? There's high temperatures everywhere. So in general, essential oils are pretty complicated, chemically speaking, but they're also volatile. Volatile means they're more likely to evaporate sooner when exposed to heat than other parts. Think about the boiling temperature. Things with lower boiling temperatures will evaporate into the air faster. And the idea here is that there's parts of the essential oils that have lower boiling temperatures than others. And some are more simple, some are more complicated, but that's kind of where that all fits. One more thing to mention about essential oils is they degrade in response to heat, light, and time, especially how they're stored. And the quality and how well it reacts to that really depends on a lot of things going all the way back to the plant, how well the plant was raised, how well it was stored, transported after the oil was extracted, how it was taken care of from A to B until it got to you. And so source matters a lot with performance and quality. And so this degradation is really key because when you put an essential oil in a candle, you light the candle and it starts to combust, these oils are gonna be subject to some environmental factors. And what we know about essential oils kind of anecdotally is that they work. They work fine actually, but they're very sensitive to temperature. So it's important that you build a candle system that supports that and that's generally a lower temperature system all the way from the flame down to the melt pool the whole thing has to be a little bit lower to prevent all that volatility from getting away and ruining any hot throw that you might have now let's talk about fragrance oil 
So they perform pretty well. They're literally engineered to exist in candles and throw fragrance for you. So there's really not too much concern there. But one thing to call out about fragrance oil is that quality matters. Low quality fragrance oils are really not going to give you what you want. They might not even be as complex as you're looking for in your product line. The important takeaway for performance in fragrance oils is that where you get it from matters too. If you buy it from a hobby store where it's mass produced with very little consideration given to performance, it's going to differ from if you buy it from a little more reputable supplier that really puts time and energy into developing an oil that performs well, is tested, and can throw extremely well in the right system. So the second category I want to go over is safety. Essential oils are a highly concentrated material. There's a lot of plants that go into creating some of these oils. So they're very concentrated and concentrated essential oils are a known allergen and irritant to a lot of people. When it gets mixed into a candle, it's not as concentrated and therefore it's not as much of a risk to being an allergen, especially when it's in the air. One more consideration for essential oils with safety is their flammability. Many of them have a low flash point, which makes them a hazmat class three flammable material. It sounds a lot more scary than it is. It's really just based on flash point and it affects the way that they're shipped. Similar to fragrance oils, if you're buying those, the flash point impacts the rules and regulations that apply when you're shipping it across the country. But the point I wanna make about that is that essential oils have to be handled with care prior to being used for candle making to make sure that you don't accidentally start something on fire. So now talking about fragrance oils and their safety, it's a bit of a black box. We don't think that there's much of an issue, but there have been concerns with phthalates. And phthalates are hmm, a little bit of a scary word, especially now when a lot of fragrance suppliers for candle makers are trying to move away from phthalates. And that's really the whole cosmetic industry. Now, some phthalates are, are really fine for you or haven't been proven dangerous, but others have been known to be bad actors. And so the elimination of phthalates altogether removes any question or risk about their impact on human health. And now, the part about fragrance oils that matters for safety is really just when it combusts in the air, what are you inhaling? What is that aroma made of? And as far as we know, there isn't a known risk. I'll say the ingredients in fragrance oils from reputable suppliers is generally considered safe, not something that's worth losing sleep over for sure. And we can always do more testing to learn the impact on human health. I don't think that's a bad thing. When it comes down to safety though, whether it's an essential oil or a fragrance oil and you're using it for candle making, it's generally safe, nothing to worry about there. And the third category really comes down to which is better. And, and it's kind of a toss up. Essential oils have a much higher entry to use because they're a lot more expensive. Getting oil from plants is not a simple process, and sometimes, depending on the oil, it can be extremely expensive. Now, your options in essential oils are a lot more limited than they are with fragrance oils. So if you're looking for a robust product line that offers a lot of scents in a lot of different categories, you might struggle to find essential oils at a price point that help you build that out. The other part about price with essential oils is that to build a good candle, you need to test, and testing and iterating through oils that are awfully expensive, especially if you're using up to six to 10%, can be quite a burden on your budget. Now, financing a fragrance oil operation is pretty common and actually prices are very reasonable with fragrance oils. Your dollar will go a lot farther testing fragrance oils than they will essential oils. Now, the bummer about that is we know that essential oils are a little bit harder to get to operate and perform in your candle well and they might require more testing, which is more dollars than normal for a simple candle. So if you're just getting started and you don't know what to do and you wanna use essential oils, I would say start learning the craft with fragrance oils. Get a hold of just the basics, kind of walk through that before you start to embark on what I would consider a very advanced area of candle making. If you're going for pure performance in a candle, you just want something that throws well, fragrance oils will lead you down that path a lot farther than essential oils probably will. And the reason is this, it's very simple. These synthetic fragrance oils are engineered and designed to perform in candles. The people putting these together, they know the heat, they know the light, they know the temperature, they know the storage. They've anticipated all these things and built this oil to provide that benefit to your candle. 
So when it comes down to it, essential oils are used across many industries, pharmaceuticals, food, and candles and cosmetics. They're not specifically made for candles. And so their natural qualities sometimes work against you when you're trying to build that perfect candle. But here's where essential oils really do make sense. If your company or your business or your craft is really focused around natural ingredients, essential oils are perfect. Even if they don't perform as well as fragrance oils, if that's the bottom line of your product line, then that's absolutely where you should go. Because a lot of customers that are looking for that in your candle line, they don't care. They're not going to worry so much about that. They just like the peace of mind knowing that your product was designed with essential oils. If you're making candles, I'd love to hear from you below. Are you using essential oils, fragrance oils, a combination? No idea? Leave a comment below. Let's talk about it. That's all for this episode. Thanks for tuning in. If you want more, I've left a link to my blog post below about essential oils and fragrance oils. We go into a little bit more depth. Otherwise, have a great week. Can't wait to see you. Take care. Bye.